When it comes to the application of Comfy UI, an inevitable topic is digital people or virtual albums, which involves creating images of a person in various scenes based on a reference image. Regardless of what they wear or do, they may appear as an old man or a child, but the goal is to instantly recognize them. In order to achieve this functionality, I experimented with various tools emerging in the AI drawing field, but I was never completely satisfied. However, the recently released Instant ID caught my eye and seemed to be the closest to the desired effect. So, in this video, let me introduce it and put it into practice in Comfy UI. The first question, what is Instant ID? According to the official website, Instant ID is a powerful diffusion model-based solution. Its plug-and-play module adeptly handles image personalization in various styles using just a single facial image, while ensuring high fidelity. The team design a novel identity net by imposing strong semantic and weak spatial conditions. Integrating facial and landmark images with textual prompts to steer the image generation. The principles may be a bit complex, but let's take a look at the official result images. First is put your face in any style. It looks like image style transformation. We can see different styles of well-known entrepreneurs, which is not surprising, as the poses of the characters haven't changed much. It's like applying filters. However, the results for the fifth image of the young ladies are impressive. The generated images inside are not directly related to the reference images, but at a glance, you feel like you recognize them. Next is editability and multi-references. Allowing modifications and multiple references. The demo shows the use of prompts and control net to create images while maintaining the similarity of the characters. The comparison between Yangmi and Taylor Swift below suggests that using more reference images might yield better results, but one reference image is also sufficient. Moving on to comparisons, the official claim is that compared to IP adapter and PhotoMaker, Instant ID has better fidelity and maintains good text editability. In summary, it means that the integration of facial features and styles is better. Compared to Laura, the results are similar, but no training is required. Compared to face swapping tools like Roop, the advantage lies in better integration of the face with the background. Then, there's a demonstration of blending multiple faces smoothly, transitioning from one person to another. It looks good, and I can already think of practical applications. The last image claims that even with just a cat, Instant ID can make you feel like it matches the reference image. While the claims are impressive, is it really that amazing? Could it be an overstatement? Without further ado, let's give it a try. First, open this website, an officially deployed workflow that you can use freely. Interested users can explore it on their own. Let's look at the usage instructions provided by the official website. The operation is straightforward, upload a character and pose image, write a prompt, you can ignore other parameters and options. I upload a character image. And then a pose image. Then write a simple prompt like a girl. Choose the watercolor style. And leave the other parameters unchanged. Now, let me click Generate. The generation speed is quite fast. Let's wait for a moment. And the result is out. The facial features are indeed based on the uploaded image, and the pose refers to another image. The effect is outstanding. I'm considering using it as an avatar. However, this website limits your usage frequency to prevent abuse. 
Can we use Instant ID in ComfyUI locally without restrictions? Certainly. Search for ComfyUI Instant ID on GitHub, and you'll find five related custom nodes. Among them, the one by the author ZHOZHOZHO has the most stars. We have used his previous Chinese version of Portrait Master, so let's download and try his custom node. On its page, you'll find numerous demonstration effects and detailed node explanations. The author recommends using the manager for installation, but it seems that it's still a work in progress. I'll manually install it for now. Follow the steps provided by the author. And the only thing to take care is that most people use ComfyUI's embedded Python instead of the system's Python. You need to select the one your ComfyUI is using. To make the custom node work, you also need to download a few models and place them in the corresponding directory for use during image processing. I have already finished the installation. After that, restart ComfyUI. Let's drag and drop a workflow provided by the author. This is a workflow using a local model, accepting facial reference images, pose reference images, and allowing style selection. Let's modify the model paths. First, the ID control net loader node, use the paths where the two files are located. Choose the local Excel model for the base model. It must be the Excel model. Selecting the 1.5 model will result in an error. Next is the path for IP adapter. Specify the location of the IP adapter, .bin file. After modifying the paths, upload the images. The load image above is for the face. The one below is for pose extraction. Change the prompt to a girl. Make a slight modification to the negative prompts. Style to watercolor. And steps to 30 for a quicker run with good results. Click run. This will take some time. So I'll skip to the results. Clearly, the image has a prominent watercolor style, and the facial features are entirely based on the provided image, while the pose is inspired by the Pearl Girl's reference. The effect is stunning. Now, let's try another workflow provided by the author. This one is slightly more complex, using additional nodes written by ZHOZHOZHO himself. Besides the standard character and pose references, it incorporates various nodes for different styles, such as artists, films, etc. Similar to the previous workflow, modify the path for the control net loader. You don't need to change the model, because this node will download the model from the hub, not loading a local model. Adjust the IP adapter below. Upload the same two images as references. Leave the upper two nodes unchanged. Set the forward prompt to a girl. Style to watercolor. And steps to 30. Click run and check the results. The outcome is a completely different watercolor style image. The whole picture feels flatter with bright colors and more realistic scenery around the characters. This change is brought about by the artistic style and dynamic reference images from the two nodes above. You can replace the content based on your preferences, as each node contains a variety of style images. Of course, you can also try other reference nodes provided by the author, such as Films Gallery, it also includes various effects. Choose one you desire. Then connect the output of this node to here. Delete the previous two nodes. And click Generate. 
although it's also a watercolor style. The overall scene is different from the previous one. Besides the mentioned nodes, you can explore others provided by the author. But I won't try them all. After watching my demonstration, what do you think of Instant ID? Personally, I believe it's currently the best face reference image generation custom node. And I've already thought of several practical applications. I'll give it a try and share the results if I get the chance. That's it for today's video. See you next time.